Hello, I'm Mike Murdoch, Associate Professor in the Munsell Color Science Laboratory at RIT. In case you're thinking, color science, what's that? We study how we see color, how to measure color, how to create color in various systems. This photo shows some of the great faculty and grad students in the Munsell Color Science Laboratory. One of my main research topics is about color perception and augmented reality. I'm most interested in optical see-through AR, which uses a transparent display to show virtual content, as in these kinds of AR head-mounted displays. The virtual content is displayed as a transparent overlay on the view of the real world, which is great because it offers the potential to insert virtual objects, people, and other things as if they are in the real world, in your same space. But the optical overlay remains transparent, which means that the real world bleeds through the virtual content, distorting its color. Interestingly, humans are very good at interpreting the layers, ignoring the background to some extent. Presently, I have funding from the National Science Foundation to study color appearance in AR. I've also been fortunate to receive academic gifts from both Microsoft and Facebook Reality Labs who are active in the AR industry. This funding is enabling a series of students to perform their PhD research in my lab with the ultimate goal of building a model of color perception in AR, which will then help us make AR systems create robust, predictable color and object appearance. Here's an example of recent research in which the small squares and small stars are presented as an AR overlay on the larger colored rectangles that are on a printed background. In a visual experiment, people are asked to adjust the color of one AR object to match the other AR object on a different background. In another experiment, we asked people to adjust AR overlays on real 3D cubes to make brightness matches. Some overlays fit tightly while others were oversized or undersized. Here we found the perceived color of AR overlays by selecting the best match from a real world color patches, like this page of red colors from the Munsell color system. Additionally, we have studied the perceived brightness and transparency of AR objects on a variety of backgrounds. All of these experiments have used simple controlled visual stimuli, which help build a model of how we visually separate the layers AR creates. It is interesting to relate AR to this familiar situation. We can easily look through the window at the models and clothing inside, or we can choose to focus on the reflections of the buildings in the glass. This is scissioning, or the perceptual separation of layers. Our experimental results show that scissioning leads to visual discounting, meaning that we visually discount one layer or the other when perceiving colors and materials in AR. If any of this sounds interesting to you, please get in touch. Finally, as I mentioned, all of this research is made possible through our graduate program in color science. If you are a student and you'd like to apply for master's or PhD study, our annual application deadline is January 15th. Thank you for listening.